Hi there, I'm John McAdams, founder of the Big Game Hunting blog. And in this video, I'm going to do a detailed analysis of the new 350 Legend cartridge and how it compares to the 223 Remington and 450 Bushmaster cartridges. Now, while it has only been around for a couple of years, the new 350 Legend has really taken off with certain segments of the North American hunting community after Winchester rolled out the cartridge at the 2019 SHOT Show. That may not make sense to some people at first, especially considering that the cartridge does not have extremely impressive ballistics on paper. Likewise, it's probably also not the best choice for many hunting situations. However, the 350 Legend is a relatively specialized centerfire rifle cartridge that was designed specifically to fill a very specific niche in the hunting world. Now, like any specialized cartridge that is well designed, the 350 Legend performs very well in its intended role. So, in this episode, I'm going to discuss the history as well as the strengths and weaknesses of the 350 Legend in detail. And I will also provide some information on how the 350 Legend compares to the 223 Remington and 450 Bushmaster cartridges to give you an idea of what sort of performance you can expect from the cartridge so you can decide if it fits your needs as a hunter. As usual, we will start with the history of the 350 Legend. The folks at Winchester noticed a few years ago that demand for 450 Bushmaster ammo was pretty high in certain Midwestern states. They investigated the situation further and realized that a lot of white-tailed deer hunters were using the 450 Bushmaster because it was one of the more popular rifle cartridges that met the relatively strict definition of a straight-walled cartridge as required by hunting regulations in those states. In particular, states like Iowa and Ohio require hunters to use a straight-walled cartridge during the modern firearm deer season. This also applies on public land in Indiana as well as in parts of southern Michigan. Most modern cartridges like the 223 Remington, 65 Creedmoor, and the 30-06 are bottle-necked cartridges. Now a straight wall cartridge is exactly what it sounds like and the cartridge just doesn't have a shoulder. Now those states have more restrictive regulations on what constitutes a legal cartridge to hunt with ostensibly because they are more densely populated and they want hunters to be using handgun cartridges with a shorter effective range. For this reason, lots of hunters use shotguns, handguns, muzzle loaders, and rifles chambered in straight-walled cartridges like the 450 Bushmaster and sometimes the 4570 in those states. Some states also have restrictions on the length of the cartridge case as well. For instance, Indiana and Michigan prohibit the use of a cartridge with a case length greater than 1.8 inches, which is the length of the 460 Smith & Wesson handgun cartridge. The 4570 has a case length of 2.105 inches, and it is not legal to use in those states. Ohio does not have that restriction, though, so the 4570 is legal to hunt with there. And as you can see, the situation is a little complicated. Now, at the time Winchester started investigating this situation, there weren't that many straight-walled cartridges in common use with plentiful supplies of rifles and ammunition that also met those requirements while also being powerful enough to reliably and cleanly take white-tailed deer. Designed as a more powerful alternative to the 223 Remington and 556 NATO that would still reliably function in an AR-15, the 450 Bushmaster does have a straight-walled case, and to top it off, the case length is only 1.7 inches long. The cartridge is more than powerful enough for use on deer, and it was also in mainstream use in the 2010s. So, by a weird twist of fate, the cartridge became something of a go-to choice for a lot of deer hunters in the Midwest because it just so happened to meet the legal requirements for use in many of those states. Now, there is not a darn thing wrong with hunting white-tailed deer with the 450 Bushmaster, and it is extremely effective on deer-sized game. However, it is really more powerful than necessary for that sort of hunting. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but the downside of the 450 Bushmaster is the fact that ammo is relatively expensive and that the cartridge also does have a fair bit of recoil. Some people can handle that recoil without issues, but it can be too much for some smaller framed and or just more recoil shy hunters. So for those reasons, Winchester decided to build a new cartridge to fill that need. Specifically, they opted to design a straight walled cartridge that was at least 357 caliber, had a case length shorter than 1.8 inches, was powerful enough to cleanly take deer-sized game, but had less recoil and was less expensive than the 450 Bushmaster. 
Basically, they were trying to build the optimal deer hunting cartridge that would give hunters an effective, mild recoiling and reasonably priced alternative to cartridges like the 450 Bushmaster that still met the legal requirements in those straight wall states. Now, the result was the cartridge we now know as the 350 Legend. Sammy gave formal approval to the 350 Legend in early 2019, and Winchester introduced it to the world at the 2019 SHOT Show. Though similar to the 223 Remington in appearance in some ways, the 350 Legend utilizes a new rimless case design and does not have a parent case. With a bullet diameter of 0.357 inches, a maximum overall length of 2.26 inches, and a case length of 1.71 inches, the 350 Legend is legal to use in all of the straight wall states and it will also function reliably in an AR-15. Winchester touted the relatively high velocity of the cartridge from the get-go and advertised the 350 Legend as, quote-unquote, the world's fastest straight-walled hunting cartridge in their initial product promotions. While some gun writers criticized Winchester for perhaps stretching the truth a bit with that statement, it is certainly true that the 350 Legend is one of the fastest straight-walled cartridges that meets current legal requirements for use in Iowa, Indiana, Michigan, and Ohio. Now, in addition to promoting the cartridge very aggressively, Winchester worked very hard from the beginning to get things with the 350 Legend started off on the right foot. And for this reason, they made sure to produce appropriate rifles and ammunition for the cartridge and avoid mistakes Remington made with cartridges like the 260 and 280 Remington over the years that derailed those product launches. So Winchester initially offered the 350 Legend in the Winchester XPR bolt action rifle. They also started producing the 350 Legend in five different ammo lines. Deer Season XP with 150 grain extreme point, Super X with 180 grain power point, Power Max Bonded with a 160 grain bonded rapid expansion hollow point, USA White Box with a 145 grain full metal jacket, also known as Winchester White Box Ammo, and Super Suppressed with a 265 grain open tip subsonic bullet. So deer hunters had a quality but reasonably priced rifle available in the cartridge from the start. And the same thing goes for a pretty good selection of good hunting ammo, as well as reasonably priced full metal jacket 350 Legend ammo for practice work at the range. Now the cartridge was a big hit from the jump, and hunters all over the U.S., but especially in those Midwestern states, quickly adopted it. Since then, other companies have started producing 350 Legend rifles and ammunition as well. At least to this point in 2021, when I am recording this episode, the 350 Legend seems like a smashing commercial success for Winchester. Now to learn more about why that is the case, next we will talk about the ballistics of the cartridge and how the 350 Legend stacks up next to the 450 Bushmaster, both of which will help explain why the cartridge has been so well received by the hunting community. So first off with 350 Legend Ballistics. Typical 350 Legend Ballistics are a 150 grain bullet at 2,325 feet per second, which is about 1,800 foot-pounds of energy, a 160 grain bullet at 2,225 feet per second for about 1,759 foot-pounds of energy, or a 180 grain bullet at 2,100 feet per second, which gives you about 1,763 foot-pounds of energy. Those loads deliver excellent performance on deer size game at short to moderate range with light recoil. Now those loads are very nearly on par with the sort of performance delivered by well-regarded short range deer hunting cartridges like the 3030 Winchester, which will shoot a 150 grain bullet at 2,390 feet per second for about 1,900 foot pounds of muzzle energy and the 35 Remington, which will shoot a 200 grain bullet at 2,080 feet per second for about 1,922 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. Okay, now let's talk about how the 450 Bushmaster, the 350 Legend, and the 223 Remington compare to each other. The 350 Legend was designed as a lighter recoiling and less expensive alternative to the 450 Bushmaster that was adequate for use on deer and still legal to use in the straight wall states. Now, additionally, the 350 Legend was also designed for use in the AR-15 platform to supplement the extremely popular 223 Remington and 450 Bushmaster cartridges there as well. So therefore, all three cartridges have very similar overall lengths and case lengths. Now, as we drill down into the details of their similarities and differences, though, several especially important factors will emerge. 
So first, the three cartridges fire different size bullets. 224 caliber for the 223 Remington, 357 caliber for the 350 Legend, and 452 caliber for the 450 Bushmaster. Additionally, they all use different bullet weights. The majority of 223 Remington factory loads shoot bullets in the 35 to 77 grain range. And of these, 55 and 62 grain bullet weights are the most common. The 350 Legend normally uses 145 to 255 grain bullets, with 150 grain, 160 grain, and 180 grain bullets being the most common. Most 450 Bushmaster ammo typically has bullet weights in the 158 to 300 grain range, with 250 and 260 grain bullets being the most popular. Now the three cartridges have the same maximum overall length of 2.26 inches, and they have similar case lengths. 1.7 inches for the 450 Bushmaster, 1.71 inches for the 350 Legend, and 1.76 inches for the 223 Remington. The 350 Legend and 223 Remington have the same rim diameter of 0.378 inches, while the 450 Bushmaster has a larger 0.473 inch rim diameter. Now finally, the 223 Remington and 350 Legend both have a higher SAMI maximum pressure of 55,000 PSI versus 38,500 PSI for the 450 Bushmaster. Now those differences in the external dimensions of those cartridges do translate into some interesting differences in their ballistic performance. This is apparent when comparing Winchester Deer Season XP factory ammo in 223 Remington loaded with a 64 grain extreme point, in 350 Legend loaded with a 150 grain extreme point, and in 450 Bushmaster loaded with a 250 grain extreme point. Now the high velocity 223 Remington has by far the flattest trajectory with the least bullet drop of the bunch. However, the 350 Legend and 450 Bushmaster both have significantly more muzzle energy with about 40 and 108% more respectively. So the 350 Legend fits neatly in between the 223 Remington and the 450 Bushmaster in terms of trajectory and kinetic energy at typical hunting ranges. The 450 Bushmaster still holds a significant, say about 50% more advantage in terms of muzzle energy, but that does shrink a little bit down to say 40% or so at 300 yards. Now if we are being honest, both of those cartridges perform best at ranges inside 200 yards due to excessive bullet drop and too little retained energy at longer range. They're both more than adequate for use on deer size game at ranges inside 200 yards though. Now, even considering the big advantage in energy the 450 Bushmaster has over the 350 Legend, the 350 Legend is still a relatively powerful cartridge itself. This is especially true considering the constraints the designers had to work with with regards to straight wall cartridge legal requirements and compared to the 223 Remington when it comes to AR compatible cartridges. Now the same things hold true when comparing how much a 10 mile an hour crosswind impacts those same loads out to 500 yards. Now the 223 Remington has the least wind drift of the bunch while the 350 Legend is next and the slower 450 Bushmaster comes in last. Now once again this data does support using the 350 Legend and the 450 Bushmaster inside of 200 yards. Now let's talk about recoil. Now of course felt recoil will vary from shooter to shooter and rifle to rifle but free recoil energy is still a useful way to compare cartridges. Now all that extra power the 450 Bushmaster has does come at the price of recoil, and that cartridge has more than twice as much free recoil energy as the sweet shooting 350 Legend. Now the 223 Remington does have a very mild, almost non-existent recoil. So the 223 Remington does have an advantage over even the 350 Legend in this respect. However, most people, even very inexperienced and or young hunters, should still be able to handle recoil from the 350 Legend without a lot of trouble. Now don't underestimate the impact that recoil has on the ability of a person to shoot accurately either. Some people do handle recoil better than others, but all other things being equal, they will absolutely shoot more accurately with a milder recoiling cartridge. Now more than doubling the free recoil energy like you will when jumping from the 350 Legend to the 450 Bushmaster can really make a big difference in how pleasant a rifle is to shoot. Alright, so where do we stand overall with these cartridges? So the 350 Legend fires smaller and lighter bullets at a higher velocity than the 450 Bushmaster. 
the 450 Bushmaster does have significantly more kinetic energy than the 350 Legend at typical hunting ranges. The 350 Legend is still powerful enough for use on deer-sized game though, plus it also has a flatter trajectory and much less recoil. Now the 223 Remington fires smaller diameter and lighter bullets at a much higher velocity than the 350 Legend. Now while the 223 Remington has a much flatter trajectory and significantly less recoil, the 350 Legend has significantly more kinetic energy than the 223 Remington at typical hunting ranges. Alright, now let's talk about the price of ammo for those cartridges. In general, 223 Remington ammo is the least expensive of the three. Prices can wildly fluctuate, especially during times of high demand. However, mass-produced or military surplus 223 FMJ ammo marketed for general shooting and plinking is about the least expensive centerfire rifle ammunition available in North America. Normal 223 Remington hunting ammo is usually a little bit more expensive, but still pretty affordable. Now, 350 Legend ammo is typically a little bit more. Winchester does make a fairly reasonably priced FMJ ammo marketed for range time and plinking as well. Now that stuff is more expensive than 223 Remington ammo, but it is still usually less expensive than most other centerfire rifle ammo. Now likewise, 350 Legend hunting ammo is a little bit more expensive than the 223 as well, but it is also normally one of the more affordable centerfire rifle hunting ammo options you can find. Now the 450 Bushmaster is significantly more expensive than the other two. I'm not aware of any commonly available budget 450 Bushmaster FMJ ammo designed for time at the range, and 450 Bushmaster hunting ammo will sometimes cost almost twice as much as 223 Remington or 350 Legend ammo. So with all of that in mind, I think it is pretty clear that the 350 Legend accomplished the goals the folks at Winchester had when they originally developed the cartridge. Now the 350 Legend is a sweet shooting, mild recoiling, and inexpensive to shoot cartridge that is still very capable on deer size game inside 200 yards, functions well in bolt action rifles as well as the AR platform, and meets the legal requirements for use in states that require the use of a straight walled cartridge. Sure, other cartridges are more powerful and or are more capable at longer range. Now, if you aren't required to use a straight wall cartridge, then yes, it does probably make sense for you to use something that's a little bit more established, like the 243, the 6.5 Creedmoor, 270, 30 out 6, etc. All of those cartridges are objectively better choices for certain hunters in one way or another. Now, this is especially true for situations where longer range shots are more likely, or when hunting bigger game like black bear or elk. However, the 350 Legend was not designed to be an extremely versatile cartridge. Instead, it was developed to fill a very particular need, which it does extremely well. Now let's talk a little bit more about 350 Legend ammo and what's available these days. Now, like I mentioned earlier, there is a pretty good selection of factory-loaded 350 Legend ammo. Uh, now at this time, Browning, Federal, Hornady, Winchester are the primary sources of factory 350 Legend ammo. And most of this stuff is geared specifically for deer hunters like Hornady American Whitetail, Federal Non-Typical, Federal Power Shock, Winchester Super X PowerPoint, and Winchester Deer Season XP ammo. Winchester Power Max Bonded and Federal Fusion are also available in 350 Legend for hunters who want a slightly tougher bullet for use on perhaps something that's a little bigger or tougher than Whitetail Deer. Likewise, Winchester Defender ammo is marketed towards those who want to use the cartridge for self-defense. Finally, Winchester Super Suppressed Subsonic Ammunition is an option for those who want to run the 350 Legend in a suppressed rifle. The cartridge is popular enough that most of the bigger retailers in the U.S. do normally keep some 350 Legend ammo in stock. This is especially true in the Midwestern states where the cartridge is especially popular. Ammo selection for the cartridge is also normally pretty good online, and the 350 Legend hasn't nearly been as tough to get as some of the other cartridges during the ongoing 2020-2021 ammo shortage. Indeed, it seemed like, at least in my area, the 350 Legend was one of the easier to find cartridges, even at the worst of the shortage. Now, unfortunately, the cartridge is a challenging project for reloaders. It can be done, but reloading the 350 Legend isn't especially easy. Reloading components for the cartridge aren't exactly growing on trees, but you can still normally find what you need during normal times. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about 350 Legend rifles. 
Now there is currently a pretty good selection of high quality rifles available in the cartridge. Among others, the Savage Axis, Mossberg Patriot, and the Winchester XPR bolt-action rifles are available in the cartridge. Several different models of the Ruger American rifle and the Ruger American Ranch rifle are also available in 350 Legend. And the same thing goes for the Break Action CVA Scout and the Henry Single Shot. Additionally, there are some modern sporting rifles like the CMMG Resolute 100 and the AR556 chambered in 350 Legend as well. Indeed, the cartridge has also become a relatively popular choice for those who like to shoot and or hunt with ARs. Now, the Winchester XPR is available in 350 Legend with a 16 and a half, 20, 22 inch, or 24 inch barrel. The models with a 20 or a 24 inch barrel are great for hunters who want to wring all the performance they can out of the cartridge, while a model with a 16 and a half inch barrel is nice for hunters who want an extremely compact rifle or those who want to mount a suppressor on it without the rifle being excessively long. Now that model with a 20 inch barrel is a good middle ground choice. Now likewise, Ruger makes a compact version of the Ruger American Ranch rifle with a shortened length of pull and a 16.38 inch barrel. That is a fantastic option for a first rifle for a younger hunter who needs a low recoil rifle for use on deer at close range. Okay, with all of that in mind, should you hunt with a 350 Legend? While the 350 Legend is a very specialized cartridge that was primarily designed to fill the needs of a somewhat small segment of the hunting community, it is still an excellent choice for those who want a light recoiling and reasonably priced, but still very capable deer hunting cartridge. Indeed, it is a fantastic choice for use on North American game like deer and feral hogs out to 200 yards or so. The mild recoil of the cartridge also makes it a good option for small framed and or recoil shy deer hunters. Now the 350 Legend would not be my first choice to hunt bigger and or tougher game like black bear, elk, or moose. It will certainly work on those animals, but I think that there are much better options. So use it on those hunts at your own risk. As good as it is though, most hunters in North America don't have a real need for the 350 Legend unless they are required by law to use a straight wall cartridge. At the same time, while it is a very capable and mild recoiling deer cartridge, other options like the 243 Winchester provide many of the same benefits but have a longer effective range and or are more widely used. Now that said, it is an absolutely outstanding choice for hunters who are required to hunt with straight walled cartridges. And it's also great for deer hunters who don't have a need or desire to use something that's more powerful or with a longer effective range. So like I said, the 350 Legend is an excellent cartridge that performs largely as advertised. If that sounds like an appealing choice for you, then get a good quality rifle chambered in 350 Legend, learn to shoot it accurately, use good quality ammunition, and I'm sure you will be happy with how it performs for you afield on your future deer hunts. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Just click that red subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss out on any of my new videos about hunting gear reviews, cartridge comparisons, and more. For more detailed information on popular hunting cartridges and what they are best suited for, click on the link in the description below or go to huntingguns101.com to get a free ebook I have written on the best hunting calibers. All right, now I'm going to turn it over to you. Which cartridge do you prefer? The 450 Bushmaster, the 223 Remington, or the 350 Legend? What game have you successfully taken with them, and what ammo did you use on those hunts? Let me know by leaving a comment on this video right now. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and good hunting.